Joy bits. There are a lot of standing up and running around shooting things. It's nice to sit down. <laughs> Gives me moments, eh? <clears throat> well, at least I know it's uh, taking the freaking stream and recording it. Gonna be a minute longer, everyone. There we are. There's my thingies. Get that right there. That in there. Turn that in on. I'm feeling less pissed off and depressed today. I don't know why. Everything's fucky with me. All the time. I am Katana, the Lightning Cat. Who the hell are you? Alright, let me go ahead and preface what I'm doing here. I was watching. Ashisogi Tenno, aka Cephalon Jizz in Your Face, <coughs> aka Piss Off All the Butt Hurt and Bitch Born Fanboys, <laughs> aka What the Fuck. I could keep going, but I won't. I was watching him talk about a couple of different things. I don't remember what it was specifically. But I was watching him and a few others talking about mastery rank. Um, don't remember which one of them said it, but basically, I think they all would agree that once you hit mastery rank 14 or 15, it just becomes pointless to mastery rank up. Because it doesn't give you anything. Well, other than the increased standing caps for factions and whatnot. I would like to make a proposal to change that. Let's start with factions. Syndicates, they're called. I would love to see a sixth a and even possible Here seventh. Go, hey, get the people. fuck off my screen, you fuck face. Fuck off. A sixth and possible seventh tier for each syndicate. Sixth one gilds your status with them so that if you go with an enemy or an opposition faction, you never lose frickin' standing. And I'd like to see that open up at Mastery Rank 5. That way, you can level all the frickin' syndicates at the same frickin' time. Wouldn't that be frickin' hilariously fun? Imagine what you could accomplish. <coughs> also, uh, let's see, frickin' ribbons. Uh, let me get to my ribbons. I almost agreed with ribbon disposition being like a frickin' horrible idea, but fucking ribbons. 
Let's see, max rank 13, 13, 14, 16. Okay, so since then, master rank 16 on that one ribbon there. Okay. I would personally love to see the ability to make your own custom frickin' ribbon. And, you know, D could balance earning that however the fuck they want with, you know, extra Kuvo and Endo to design it however the fuck you want. I'd like to see that start at, uh, Master Rank 15. And they can have it frickin'... Uh, what's, what's the word I'm looking here for? Uh, they, they can make it to where it works with the disposition thing, to where it, in order to get maxed out stats, I don't know what the maximum stat you can see on a ribbon is, but in order to get it to where it's maxed out, with like, what, three, four hundred percent of some arbitrary stat, you have to re-roll it, or, you know, custom re-roll it, while it's in all five blips of full disposition. I would add a little bit of balancing to it for people who want to go off about balance. Don't blame you. Also, I think that in order to do custom Riven rolls, to get the stats you want on a Riven, you have to have previously rolled through that stat and, you know, he could just program a little thing in there. It keeps track of which stat, which type of little stat, buff or unbuff, negative stat, positive stat, whatever you want to call it. It keeps a backlog for you. That way, once you roll through them all, you can just use them all willy-nilly whenever the fuck you want. But you have to earn that by rolling through it, reaching the mastery rank. And then, you know, to max it the fuck out, you have to wait for the disposition to hit five blips on the, the gun's disposition for that particular ribbon. Whatever the fuck that means. So then you can use the positive or negatives at their maximums. And that would let people go off and balance it themselves if they want. Or go off on a fucking power trip. Or go off on a, I'm gonna challenge the living fuck out of myself trip. Whatever the fuck you want. Power to the player and all that, you know? And the uh, fucking extractors. I'll get to that in a moment. Give me a second. Feckin' extractors, mate. Feckin' goddamn extractors. I would like to see a progressive... I would love to see a progressive, uh... Increase... For getting things from extractors. Like at max 3 rank 15, they don't take any frickin' damage. Mastery rank 20, they just sit there and continuously pump shit out for you and automatically put it into your inventory. Uh, let's see, what else? Oh yeah, Mastery rank 20, they get a certain amount, like, um, I don't know, 100 every day of every freaking resource that can be picked up for that planet. Just a arbitrary example here. 100 of alloy plate, polymer bundle credits, and fildron samples. Every day. Just sit in here on Venus. At Mastery Rank 20. Just constantly. Every day. Depositing into your inventory. And then at Mastery Rank 25. It fucking goes up to like a thousand. And then at Mastery Rank 30. Uh, fuck it. DE. Just pick whatever arbitrary number you want for 
every resource from a dis an extractor. Then you can just pick it up after you've gotten what you want and plop it down somewhere else. Go off and get more stuff elsewhere. Honestly, I think at Mastery Rank 30, you should be able to put an extractor on every freaking planet. Even the Derelict, the Kuva Fortress, the Void. Every freaking one of them. Also, I think as soon as you unlock like the Plains of Eidolon here, your extractor on Earth just, you know, gets a... Uh, I don't know couple of dozen of whatever resources actually come from the planes. A couple of dozen of every resource. Except for those sentient cores that uh, only drop from the Eidolons themselves. That's something that you should still have to go off and earn. Same with Orb Vallis. Who the fuck wants to farm rocks all goddamn day? That would help mastery rank mean more than I just got bored and decided to max the fuck out at everything. Eh, something else I was thinking of. Let's start at max three rank 30. A permanent doubling of your base stats just permanently doubles all your base stats for all your weapons, your arc wings, arc guns, arc melee. All your fucking primary, secondary, and melee weapons. Just permanently doubles their base stats. Once you hit mastery rank 30. That would be a mark of fucking accomplishment, don't you think? That would drive a lot more people to want to reach Mastery Rank 30, to want to play the game and do stuff. Yeah. Doubling to your, your armor, energy, health, shield, sprints, maybe not the sprint speed. I don't know. I don't know about that. We're going to have to get a lot of uh, feedback on that one. By we, I mean, you know, me and... DE. Mostly DE. But yeah, double the duration, efficiency, range, and strength. So you get base of 200 for each of those once you hit Mastery Rank 30. Would mean something to finally hit Mastery Rank 30 now, wouldn't it? Would mean something to Mastery Rank Up. Uh, now something I've noticed is problematic the fucking companions from time to time I've noticed that carrier prime while I've got what was it fucking guardian nope Where, where's my bubble sanctuary every now and then this bubble just chooses not to fucking open up when I'm reviving someone and then, you know, sometimes it just stays there like, Oh, I'm just gonna hang out here. You you can fuck off. And I'm like, what the fuck? Looter. It doesn't blast things open all the time. It's annoying. Fucking animal instinct. Loot radar and enemy radar. It It's not working for me. It should, but it's not fucking working. fucking vacuum flips out every now and then while I'm doing uh, melee attacks or switching between guns and it likes to wait until I'm standing still not shooting, not aiming not melee attacking, just standing still with enemies fucking blasting away at me before it'll pick up everything fucking insane it needs a little tweaking eh, ammo case works okay I haven't noticed any problems with ammo case. Shield charger! It, it works like 90%, but 98.6% of the time. Same with Guardian. 
Like, there needs to be a little tweaking to the, uh, the mod card system. It needs a little maintenance. Also... Fucking... One YouTuber, don't remember who it was, maybe it was Tactical Potato, was talking about the um, augment mods and making a, a separate little area for each one that unlocks it to an arbitrary mastery rank. My thing is, that sounds cool and all. Yeah, it would definitely drive people to go for mastery rank, and it would definitely reward you for it. My thing is, go one step further. Allow you to have double, and then at, you know, master your rank 25 or 30, triple the mod capacity up here, and the mod card slots. And maybe even arcanes, but that's something I don't even know anything about. So let's let someone else make that decision for now. Until I know more, I can't really say anything about arcanes. So, I constantly find myself wanting to slap more mods and have more capacity. Like, uh, frickin' different weapons and whatnot. Hang on. Nope, that's not one. Yeah, here's, here's a decent example. I've got all these slots filled the frick up. But what I want to do is slap in some more stuff for critical and some more stuff for status so I can get both maxed the fuck out. Also damage. I want to max out as much damage as I can do as well. And I want to put Sinister Reach on. I'd love to see a Prime version of this. And I want fucking Punch Through. Where'd, where'd my Punch Through? Yeah, Metal Auger. Punch Through. If I could have double or even triple the capacity in space, I could put my Metal Auger on. And then go and slap on Sinister Reach. And then slap on Stormbringer. And where's the other one? Yeah, Infected Clip. And I could max out the damage I'm doing, the range I'm doing it at, and how many enemies I'm hitting with it all at once. Oh, and another one. Another one I'd like to put on. Combustion Beam. Fucking, uh... Hunter Munitions. Where's, where's the other ones? Shred. Yeah, I'd like to throw that one on there. Split Chamber for the extra multi-shot. Vigilante Fervor. There's, a, there's another one around here somewhere I wanted to put on. Yeah, more Split Chamber. More, more everything. And, you know, you don't just have to give it to everyone. Let it be something you unlock at a mastery rank, combined with going on a quest and getting a little widget to put into either your frickin' mod station or foundry or whatever. I don't care. But that would be fucking amazing, don't you think? It would allow a lot more freedom to do a lot more things with the mod card system. Which, as far as I've observed, is this game's meta. Quite honestly, I think that Mastery Rank, somewhere between 20 and 30, is where you should be allowed to have triple the mod card capacity and slots. That way, it drives people to earn it. Don't just talk about power fantasies. Let the player 
pursue their happiness. Pursue the power fantasy, acquire it, and make it their bitch. For fuck's sake. I'd love for some feedback as well as uh, for sharing of this video oh fuck's sake wrong button give me a moment there we go <clears throat> Okay, now that I've rattled on for a good bit of time talking about things, don't just let me know what you think about which thing should be placed at which master rank. Share the video! I'm gonna share it with um, either the YouTuber Asha Soggy Tenno, Tactical Potato. Those are the two that I can remember right now. Hell! Even Jim Sterling, he might love this fucking idea. Laser beam. That, that cheeky fucking cunt off in Australia. You fucking Aussie prick. You fucking daft adorable fucking cunt, you. When are you gonna get the fuck off of goddamn... Uh, what's it called? Fuck night, yeah. When are you gonna get off fuck night and start doing other things again? For feck's sake, man. Tenno, the balance of power continues to shift. Navigation is marked with new invasions. Invasions? Ooh. Yeah, Ashisogi Tenno was talking about, like, dungeons and shit. I think that's a splendid idea. Kind of like what World of Warcraft did. You have different dungeons that require, you know, different mastery ranks. Except I'm not too keen on what he was talking about, where it forces you to use a random set of weapons and whatnot. That's a great idea. It would promote a lot of people's adaptability. It would definitely stress test you, that's for sure. Sabotage, interception. What the fuck? Alright, here's something I've got to squibble with. Shut up, Alan V! Must I Mr. Five! The way forward. Get the fuck off my screen! This fucking Indo and Kuva right here. In the reward pool. For the fucking... Sorties. This Indo and Kuva is a fucking dick slap in the face to me. I do the fucking sorties for the goddamn Raven. After doing so much, I want to be able to select just to get the fucking Raven. Like the reward pool. I want to select what reward I get. That's what the fuck I want. I don't care if you make it to where you have to be a certain mastery rank to get it. I want to select to grab that fucking ribbon. If I want to. And I do. The forma? Fuck that! You can open relics for forma. I think... Me, personally, I want to see the Forma and the fucking Indo and Kuva just taken off the reward pool. You know, but for balance sake and for those who actually love to have Indo, Kuva, and Forma, let us select the fucking reward we want out of the goddamn sorties. That would make them worth playing. There, I've rattled on a lot. About a bunch of different shit. What's your fucking idea, everyone? Yeah, 
know, when I get this video posted, I'm gonna try and, like, link it, you know, put it in the, a comment and link it to Ashisogi Tenno, Tactical Potato, maybe a few others, I don't know. But definitely those two guys. Honestly, I'd like to see uh, an in-depth discussion about this in-game uh, dungeon thing. Have different uh, dungeons for mastery rank, and I have them do different stuff. And for the fuck's sake, love of all that is fucking Warframe, don't just put in fucking standard enemies in these dungeons. Make a completely new boss for each of them. Something like what World of Warcraft did. I don't care if you have to ask those guys for permission to do it. And, and you have to pay them a couple of fucking royalties. Just let everyone know. DE, just let everyone know in one of your dev streams. And, and ask for support. Ask them if they're willing to support that endeavor. For feck's sake. This game has more in common with World of Warcraft than it does with Destiny. I've seen a lot of people compare it to feckin' Destiny. Warframe, the free-to-play game that makes the entire AAA full-price release industry look like a pile of fucking shit. Oh, on an, on an unrelated note, some of the stuff in Lua over here, it fucks my mind. I'm none too good at getting through these things. Especially that one where you go through the freaking temporal rift thingies on the, the was it the spy mission? Where is it? Where the frick are you? Yeah, this one, Pavlov. That one's a complete mind fuck to me. Up until I got to here, I was like, oh yeah, fucking Warframe. I was doing the same thing over and over, then I hit Pavlov. I was like, what the fuck is this? What are you doing to my mind? Oh yeah, I want to say thank you to DE for making it to where we can solo the freaking derelict missions for the, um, uh, what's it called? The vault. Yeah, the Oregon vault. Thank you for that. I fucking appreciate it. I fucking love it. However, I got a squibble with crafting shit. Now that I think about the keys to that. You guys over at DE made it to where the frickin' Arcwing launchers? Let me scroll over to him. Uh, no, that's keys. Where, where did I put the frickin' things? Gear, yeah. I just brain fired for a moment. Just give me a moment. There we go. They made it to where, in your inventory, you only need one now because it's completely, infinite, really reusable. Fucking brilliant. Now, would, would you mind doing that for couple of other things like these keys like after you craft so many of them or you use so many of them or you reach a certain mastery rank it's just infinitely reusable in your inventory like you did with arc wings same with these exterminates and captures and shit here Having to craft that stuff over and over is just fucking tedious. Those are, yeah, luminous fucking die. That's something I want infinitely reusable. I'm tired of crafting these fucking things, and they don't last fucking pissing time. Eh, shit like this mining stuff. 
No worries on that. I'm fine with it. But those fucking keys and those goddamn luminous die. What else? Fucking air support charges. Maybe. I'm not full 100% set on that being fucking infinitely usable in your inventory. Uh, let's see. Fucking credit sinks. Requires a load of resources to start crafting something, and then it takes its goddamn fucking time! Yeah, fine. I'll deal with waiting for it because, you know, platinum to speed it up to, you know, people buying platinum to support the freaking game because it's free to play. I can roll with that. But remove the fucking credit cost! Yeah, and not just ribbons for uh, making your own mods. All the frickin' mods. You have to already have acquired it and maxed it out, and then add a little extra option to reverse engineer it, name it whatever you want, so that you have the effect for all these regular mods, all the way up to the, the frickin' rare ones, and, and the frickin', uh, where are they? The primed mods. Where, where did I put them? Rivens just, you know, differently. You have to re-roll them a few times, but for the, all these other ones, if they level it up fully, have to have it, level it up fully, and then reverse engineer it, a little extra option, to get its effect so that you can make your own custom frickin' mods. Then once you hit a certain master rank, you can name them, whatever the fuck you want. Don't censor it! Let people call it dick cheese waffles for all I care. And then, uh, fucking higher mastery rank, let people trade them with each other. Yeah, there we go, the primed ones. Yeah, it might be an endo sink, and an endo credit and fucking uh, time sink. But you gotta earn the power to do whatever the fuck you want, now don't you? Yeah, it's a bunch of ideas. Really feckin' hope that a lot of people agree, share the frickin' video, and just harass the living fuck out of DE till they do it. Especially with those goddamn dungeons! Honestly, that's Cephalon fucking Jizzo's idea. Ashisogi Tenno's idea. So let him work out all the details with D. Fuck yeah. Let him work out all the details. And and pull whatever ideas that he thinks is most beneficial and most viable and most balanced or whatever he wants to do from whoever wants to give him more ideas. Fuck's sake. It's his idea. Let him run with it. Honestly, I don't know if my other ideas have been had by someone else before, but there they are. They would definitely make Mastery Rank mean something other than I got bored and bought every freaking piece of equipment in the game and maxed it out. Don't you think? I'm gonna end this with something just for the fuck's sake fun of it. I'm gonna equip all fucking 
for keys. What did I have here? Oh yeah, I had something here. I don't remember what it was, but I had it. I'm gonna put that there. Okay, eating dragon key. Decaying dragon key. Extinguish dragon key. Hobble dragon key. Now let's go open a fucking vault. It's gonna be a bitch fucking a half for me. Specialized solo. Um. I think I'll go with the exterminate. Yeah, fuck it, why not? Oh, I had another idea. I don't know if anyone had it before me. Permanent resource boosters. Starting at Mastery Rank 10. A permanent double credit boost. Then whatever else on the next one. And let it stack with the purchasable ones. Infested biosignatures all over the place. You know what to do. Yes, I do. I need to shit on a donkey. Motherfuck, oh, they're killing me. Was that walking speed? That's running speed. I'm still detecting a lot of infestation activity. I know you are. It's right in front of me. Shut the fuck up. Lordus. Lordus. Most of this is a challenge to my movement speed. Please die. I want to capture you. You're a Pokemon. Get him a Pokeball, bitch. Look, it's a cute kitty cat. Kill it with frickin' electricity! There you go.
Hey, I'm definitely gonna have a time here trying to find that fault. Is it through here? No. no. I'm gonna go back to the beginning and explore. Where the fuck else can I go? Up oh, there you are! Well, I'm gonna die a lot anyway, so I'm fucking up. You've unlocked an Aroken Vault. It's clean. The fact you are carrying appears to be affecting your Warframe. I know, Got right? It. Such Something damn is keys. About this artifact. The Slowing me down and weighing me down. Feel like I weigh a goddamn key. ton. Well, technically. Oh, fuck off! Juggy bitch, please! Well, it's an orange one. Fuck yeah. This is me running. Fucking running. Okay. Minions, protect me. I'm fucking dead already. I'm glad that boy fucked off. I don't want to deal with it. Come back, I'm shooting you! Dare you kill my man! Some more so they don't fucking kill me. And kill this idiot. There we go. I'm gonna walk through the level like fucking Darth Vader. Damn, that's slow. Get left to glitch ya. Fuck off. Just die already. Fuck you. Shooting me! You're gonna kill me! I don't care if that's what you're after. Fuck off! I need more minions! Protect me! I'm gonna die! I'm on fire! I'm not supposed to be on fire! Back, I'm shooting you. Don't go to your buddy for help. Fuck you. Too. 
with dead fucking Necros Walker. Quite a coincidental considering he's the fucking so called god of the dead. Stop shooting me! I'm gonna die! Fear me, bitches. Ah, shit. Fuck! There we go. Now I can slowly glide the fuck out of here. Did it! Finally! Ooh, vicious spread. That's what I was hoping for. Fuck yeah. of ideas and feedback for DE about Warframe. I hope you get your cerebral uh, nerdgasms going and give a bunch of ideas and feedback of your own as well as share the freaking video with uh, Ashisogi Tenno and Tactical Potato. And DE. Fuck yeah. Vicious spread. Till next time. Feel free to feck right off.